Alright guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy harvest moon. We In don't sleep! Episode... <laughs> what? Uh, we need the recording. We don't sleep, we just always here. We don't sleep, we have all the records already set up. No, I'm kidding. Do you need a hug? <laughs> yeah, I need a hug. <laughs> In the last episode, we started off the game. We met Mana and Douglas and a bunch of the other townspeople. Mm -hmm. We started doing quests for them. I also abused a glitch, and now we're kind of rich for now, but we'll be spending the rest of our money very, very soon. Yep. For now, let's talk to Douglas. I came to talk. How to look at the bulletin board, did ya? I just want to bring me a bull. I want. <laughs> I want you to go bring me a bullhorn from Tierest Forest Spring Clearing. He's, Tanya's he's got her eye on it. He's doing a me. <laughs> I'll give you 100 G in return. All right, let's do it. 100 G is actually nothing to scoff at. It's a nice little bit of money at the beginning of the game. Yep. So Be if you didn't abuse Eddie. the glitch, then I would recommend you do every single request forever. And if you did do the glitch, still do every request forever. It's part of the game. What are you, yep. insane? Yeah, I was going to say the exact same words. That was a lie. I'm sorry, I'm lying. Okay, I believe this is the spring clearing. It says on the top screen, so that's a yes. Which means it's probably right up here. Yep. Oh. A lot of these quests will have unique items that you cannot normally get, and you have to get them from a certain location. Like with the ruby and with the bullhorn, they'll just be sitting on the ground there for some reason. With other ones, it requires you to go find one yourself, either from beating a monster or from mining it or however you want to do it. They basically I'm assuming... take the items, they put it there, and then put the quest in and be like, Hey, find this item, don't leave that it didn't put there for me, and I give you money for it. Mm -hmm. And the way I'm going to handle this is I'm going to assume that everyone that's watching Rune Factory 2 has seen my first Rune Factory Let's Play, or at least part of it, to understand the mechanics. Yes. Bullhorn. Oh, you found it? Not bad, kid. Not bad at all. I'm starting to like you. <laughs> a promise is a promise. Here you go. 100G. Thanks, So, bro. that's another quest down. And that should... Ooh, we checked it. <laughs> okay, no, we're only at one friendship for now. I think how it handles it is once we do the next, uh... Once we accept the next friendship request, it'll up it. Or actually, before we do anything... Let's head to the east side of town. Very, very slowly like this, so you know you guys just kind of see everything and we make progress. One day we will meet my boy. Isn't it beautiful? Check out that edge and the hilt is incredible. Yeah, it's uh great. Swords are nice and all, Mom, but can you make me some dinner? Out of context, this sounds sexist, but really, Roy does need dinner. He is a small boy, even if his voice doesn't sound it. Dinner? A meal feeds your belly for a few hours, but a sword like this can feed your soul for a lifetime. What? I don't even know what that means. Come on. Aren't you glad you have a fun mother like me? That wants to eat a sword? No. <sighs> Yep. So these are two interesting characters, Roy and Tanya. Hey, who are you? Hey there, my name's Kyle, what's yours? Hi, I'm Roy, where are you from? Actually, I don't know myself. Heh, <laughs> what kind of answer is that? You have amnesia or something? That's a big word for someone your age. Well, you know, I pick up what I hear. I'm tending the Manus farm at the moment. That dried out piece of junk could look growing anything out there. I know it won't be easy, but I kind of like the challenge. That's why I figure I'll be staying around here for a while. Guess I'll be seeing you around. Well, if you ever have any questions about anything, you can always ask me, or talk to me. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. And Tanya. Oh, I haven't seen you around here before. Yeah, I'm new here. My name is Kyle, I'll just be living on the farm just outside town. Ah, yes! D Doug Douglas was telling me about you. My name is Tanya. Nice to meet ya. You. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Tanya. <laughs> so, Kyle, are you interested in swords? Blades? Sharp objects of any kind? 
Who the heck talks like that, Emily? <laughs> well, <not> me. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I am obsessed. I mean, just can't get enough of them. Okay, whatever does it for you, I guess. Unfortunately, though, monsters never come in town, so I don't have a chance to try my blades out on any of them. <sighs> oh, that's too bad, I guess. Indeed it is! Anyway, let's talk about you, Kyle. I feel every true man should own at least one sword. <laughs> they should? Yes, they should! Should you decide to become a real man yourself, come on by and I'll show you all sort of fine weaponry. Um, okay, thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and one more thing. Just owning a sword will make you stronger, but you should also look for skill seals. Skill seals let you use powerful weapons move here. Here, I got a spare one little, that you can have. Try it out. Try it. The power wave. What is this? A skill seal for a short sword. A cupid alone with the correct weapon to use it. There are lots of other skill seals out there, but that's the only one I have. Go I got for you. I hope you get by more. Enjoy. Thank you. Power right, so wave. I gave Woo! us a new skill. So fireball is that one. Uh, you having a moment? Uh, wait, what? Press. Okay. What did you milk? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You know you have to... You, oh, you know. that... Okay, I guess it doesn't pop up if you don't have the weapon equipped that it needs to. So, this is Power Wave for the short sword. Charge up a shockwave and unleash it across the ground. It causes a long stun. It's it's a nice ability should you be using a short sword. I'll be showing that off, but we aren't currently using it, so I'll just leave it equipped. It's fine. We have nothing better to equip right now anyway. Okay, and now the reason I talked to Tanya there is because I actually need to talk to her for a quest. I'm trying to do one specific thing today. Ooh, also that quest stays there, so you can't redo it all the time. Mm -hmm. A quest from Tanya. There's something I want to talk to you about. Come by and see me, okay? Quest can be replayed. Certain see? quests can be done over and over and over again. Most of Tanya's can. Basically. That means you can get a lot of rewards just for beating up enemies. Not only do you farm their items, but you also get money for it. Cecilia would be happy about that though. Just letting you know that. I mean, she understands that you absolutely do need to do battle sometimes, but she also wants us to be more like Raguna and be a master of caring I for I mean, animals. if you're gonna be a Raguna like you, that's really upsetting. <laughs> Mass genocide. But also I did take really good care of my monsters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to talk. Tanya, you look like you've got something you want to ask me. Ah, Kyle, thank you for coming. Well, rather than something to ask, I got a trail for you. What? A trial? Oh, a trial. That's right. Tree, T R E I L. -O. <laughs> <laughs> Baby trial, trial in order to raise your skills as a sword man. I don't as a know person why I was who actually that. sing, as a person who actually sings, I would imagine you'd do better than that. I see. I, next time. <laughs> mm, you don't sound very interested. I cannot pronounce the trial sound word, so I couldn't sing well. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Just you do your best. Now listen. You're gonna into the forest and you're gonna fight monsters. If you're gonna do la la la, la if you're gonna to live around here, then you find you need to go into the forest every now and then to fight some monsters. With your current pathetic sword skills, those monsters will tear you apart, shred your wrenches, send you off to the afterlife. Afterlife. Uh, don't you think you're exaggerating a little? Ex. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just I give it. up. No, I don't. You know. have to read it. I don't want to read the big board. I gotta read Do it. Do it. Excavating. Exaggerating. Excavating. Are you are you? This is life and dead. You have to take it seriously. No wonder you're such a terrible sword man. I mean. You don't want to die now, do you? So you need to become stronger in order to protect yourself. In other, so in other words, improve your skills as a swordman is super important. 
That sounded like a robot. Oh, I know what you're thinking. You think all you need to do is get your hands on a fleshy, expensive sword, right? Even the best sword is a waste of met metal in the hands of an unskilled fighter. It's obvious to me that you can't handle yourself yet. Obvious to any monster who sees you too. I don't want to sell any of my swords to someone who can use them. So these trials are also a test by me to see if you are worthy of the best swords I can make. I say it again, sword skills are super important! Ha! Better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I see where this is going. <laughs> Good, don't forget that. I'm glad you understand, let's get started then. As a warm-up, shall we, shall, why don't you go and pick on an orc? I think you should be able to handle that. Okay, how about you defeat five orcs and then come back to me? Defeat five orcs, I understand. Three's Forest is a ter territory of orcs. It's a very violent monster wielding, wielding a large club. You can reach <laughs> Three's Forest by heading future no you're further north from the town North Square. Then you come to a three-way fork in the road. Take the path on the right to reach... We know. Whatever. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, go on then. Have okay. fun. Oh, and one last thing. Don't go getting yourself killed out there. Take care. <laughs> yeah, I'll be careful. Okay. So... Combat, the exact opposite of Cecilia's request. I figured this would be a good way to show this. Cecilia's request is all about doing no harm. Douglas doesn't care so long as you get the item he requests. Tanya specifically wants you to beat monsters. So we're gonna do that. We gonna murder. <laughs> Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, with the fur. So, these are not the orcs you're looking for. These are actually orc <laughs> archers. These are not the orcs you're looking for. <laughs> At the thing here that says that. These are not the... I don't remember what the actual line was for that. Droids. There we Ooh. go. Defeat the target monster. Keep defeating them until you reach your quota. There will actually be two orc spawners on screen at once. The other one hasn't noticed this yet, and there they are. No? Okay. Uh. You know what? Let's try to. Okay, apparently, there's a cliff <laughs> that I clipped. It's hard to deal with two of them at once is the thing. It's not as easy to cheese as in the first game. All the monsters have different kind of animations, and they'll keep moving even if you get them off screen. This yeah, game is a lot more difficult than the first one in my They opinion. became smarter. Okay, I'm definitely not looking right, how dare you. Okay. Nom -a nom -a nom. Ooh, close. Alright. Defeated five of the target monster, you defeated your quota of the target monster. Good job! Alright, bye! Bye! See you next time! Back to Tanya! I'd like to talk. <clears throat> it looks like you managed to defeat the required five orcs! Don't you getting full of yourself though, having only defeated orcs? Here's your reward! 500 G! And as a reminder, this is replayable, so you can keep getting other rewards. I think on future playthroughs, it might be 100. I'm not 100% sure on that. 500 G. Oh, I got something else for you too. You got an X. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime you want to try another challenge, just come on back. Cleaning up monsters, help everyone out in the end. Yep. Bye. Eat swords for breakfast, it cleans your souls. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's accurate. Hey, that's what Taya said. 
Who needs food if you have sword that feeds your soul? You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen to Taya. She's, she's a character, after all. She's I can't smart. wait for future days when we get to actually use the bath. Ooh, are we gonna see baby? Are we gonna see baby? Baby no. time. Ah! Yes! Is there really a god? <laughs> yes, of course there is. How do you know for sure? Come on now, Parrot. Don't you think the other people have the right to believe in a higher power, even if you don't? Let's say someone's been attacked, and they're too weak to defend themselves. Is your god gonna step in and save them? Yeah, I'm so sassy. You act, Barrett. Why don't you just save them yourself? <laughs> Whatever. You're just avoiding my questions. I'm out of here. Baby! Barrett? What? Well, is it uh, nice today? Smooth. Why don't you go outside and see for yourself? Right. Oh, baby. Don't be so mean to baby. <laughs> okay. Barrett is the one who obviously just left. We'll yep. be getting to him later, but for now. Uh, um, goodbye. Whoa, hey, hold on. Why are you running away? I'm not that scary, am I? Um, well, I, I haven't really talked to boys before. We just saw you talking to Barrett, don't lie to me. <laughs> it's okay, I understand. My name is Kat, what's your name? My, my name? Well, it's, it's Goodbye. Goodbye? That's quite a unique name. Seriously though, just relax and say your name. Re relax uh, Okay, m my name is Dorothy. Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Y yes, nice to meet you too. Goodbye! Man, she's one shy girl. No, she's baby! So, imagine Tori from the first game. Except fantastic and great and amazing in every single way and obviously the best girl in the entire universe. Mm -mm. <laughs> Whoa! Calm yourself. Yep. <laughs> Dorothy is my favorite. Baby! Hi, my name's Gordon. The scar I got the scar right over my neck. I got the scar over my right eye fighting a dragon in my youth. Really? Are you a warrior? A <laughs> warrior? Look at me out. I'm dressed. I'm obviously a priest. <laughs> Thou shall not kill him, strictly a pacifist now. I see, so what happened to the dragon? Well, I gave it a slow, a swift low kick and followed up with a one-two combination. Left to, uh, the solar plexus right uppercut. I sent him all the way back to the forest beginnings. He doesn't sound like a pacifist at all. By the way, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Did you just move here? Yes, my name's Kyle. I'm borrowing the farmland just outside of town. Ah, oh, you mean Douglas's place. You know Douglas? Of course I do, for as long as I can remember, we've been rivals. Everyone in this town is always trying to guess which one, one of us is stronger. Truth be told, though, he'd only last about three seconds against me if I really tried. <laughs> you don't say. That's right, anyway. Remember to come to church on holidays, Kyle. I'll warn you now, if you fall asleep during one of my sermons, I'll send you to heaven early. <laughs> Ooh, I like him. Y yes, sir. An interesting character. And... Baby! Yeah. It should be noted that Dorothy is, I believe, Gordon's daughter. Dun dun dun! So just know that Douglas and Gordon both somehow got weighed with those weird personalities. <laughs> Stay up all night to get lucky. <laughs> um, here we go. Please get me an amethyst. I need you to get this and bring this to me. Do it! Just... Do it. Okay, rather than going into the church, we're gonna head in here instead. Take me to church. Uh, no, no, Where are you do, going? Do, 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 do. What do you care? It's none of your business. Don't you dare speak to your father like that. Shut up. Just leave me alone. Some of the voice acting isn't great. <laughs> A good example of that is Byron. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have had to see that. Did you need something? So, Barrett... Barrett's voice is uncomfortable for me because 
he is a recurring character whose voice gets better in later games. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's bad here. I think it sounds pubescent. Yeah. I think that for this point in the game, it's fine. Yep. You know, it, it's okay. Nope. Some of the voices are pretty bad, like Byron and Roy. We've seen both of them, and their voices are very... They sound like just some random guy they grabbed out of the office. Maybe that is the that that what happened. You don't know. Ah, you must be the new fellow sitting on Douglas's farm. Welcome to our humble town. Thank you for having me. My name's Kyle. I'm Byron, the mayor of this town. I hope you enjoy living with us. Thank you. I hope I can come to be friends with everyone living here. This town may be small, but it's a peaceful, vibrant place. I hope you'll grow to l like living here. Hey. I'm sure I will. Actually, I have a son around the same age as you, Kyle. I hope the two of you can become friends. That would be nice. Things haven't been going so well between me and him recently, to be honest. We just seem to end up arguing about everything. Anyway, I'm expecting big things from you, Kyle. Time to try to bring that farm back to life. I mean... It's already cleared at this point, pretty much. Right? Yes, sir. Oh, one other thing. There's a lost and found on the first floor of my house here. If you lose anything important, you should go take a look there. You might get it back. Sounds good. Thank you. Right I here. I never used that. I, I never had something in there that I dropped yeah, and I so never got it. The only items like that, there are story unique items that you can lose and they'll end up here. It's, they understand that glitches can happen, that you might mess something up and drop something you didn't mean to. Anything like that can happen. Anything. I want to build a barn. A barn. There's some space in the west of the farm that should suit your needs. You can use that if you like. Thank you. You'll need 50 pieces of wood and 5,000 G to build it. That's a little more expensive than I was expecting. Everything is expensive! We are talking about an entire building here, after all. You have my permission to build it anyway, so the rest is up to you. Once you have the materials and the money, come back and talk to me again. Talk to we... me! So, as you remember, we did Cecilia's quest. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't remember... Does it not show in any of these menus? I don't think it does. No. So, in this game, it doesn't show it in the menus. We can go check our actual pile of wood and it will tell us, but... Just know we have a hundred lumber currently. Oh, I didn't mean to actually do that. There we go. Huh, you have a required money and materials, I see. Do you want to go ahead with building the barn, then? Yes. yes. I'll make arrangements for the barn to be built, then. It will be a four-story building. That's Damn. fine. We get four stories of this building for 50 wood and 5,000 G. That's kind of obs like obscene. That's weird. Shh, accept Thank it. You. For that I've money, got my best man standing by, so you should have your building done by tomorrow morning. Man, I wish that it was in real life too. Hey, you want a house? Well, tomorrow's finished. About 15 hours from now, we're gonna have a four-story building. That is insane. Wow, that fast? That fast? Gotta go Look fast. forward to it. Gotta go fast. That's all we needed from him for now. Yeah. Now let's head back into the church. Baby. Gordon, I'm here about your request on the bulletin board. Yes, sorry to bio bar the Sorry to bother you, Kyle. Let me get right to it. I need an amethyst. You can find it on Blessy Island. Just run around busting up rocks around there, and it shouldn't take you too long. Bust Just a run rock. around busting up rocks. I wish I could do it myself, but there are a lot of aggressive monsters there, right? If I were to get attacked, I couldn't even defend myself. That wouldn't be right of me. I'm a representative of God. Well, I am now at least. Don't worry, you'll get paid well. What do you think? Just find one and bring it back to me. Do whatever it takes. Well, within reason. Don't do anything that goes against God, of course. Okay, leave it to me. Oh, and before I forget, take my hammer. You'll need this to smash that rock. Smash it! The rocks. You got the hammer. To mine minerals. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, thanks and good luck. Bye. So, we now have two really neat tools. And... We're going to have to kind of do a thing. Uh-oh. This is one of those quests that I mentioned that you are not guaranteed to find the item. So this could take you a few days. It could, you know, take you a single swing of the hammer. It really depends. But if you come down here to the south... Hey, Kyle, I see you found a port. You can take this boat to Blessia Island from here. Feel free to use the boat whenever you like, but 
be careful, there are monsters on Blessy Island. If you don't have a weapon, you should go buy one from Tanya's shop. Also, if you want to sleep outside of town, you want to have a sleeping bag. Ooh, robot spies. Whoa. You can sleep outside without sleeping bag. Luckily, we got plenty in stock at our store. Pick up one or three before you go. Um, okay. Give me your money. See you later! Remember to buy sleeping bags! Because we love money. I will say in this one, I do like the sleeping bag more than in the first one. Though it is limited use in this one. So, kind of a weird trade-off. Alright, let's go. Just buy it. I need money. Give me the money. Okay. Here is Blessy Island. Save. We'll save. Do These it. These are actually save stations. They look funky, I know. Don't eat them. Yeah. Okay. So, before anything can spawn on us. <gasps> Aww. Uh, 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 uh. Aww. Nope. It's fine. We're gonna be hoping to get a amethyst here. Sometimes you can be lucky for everyone that gets lucky in the first try. Congratulations. For anyone that cannot be lucky, too bad. Try again. That sound that I just made was kind of weird, but I accept it. Ooh, grounds. Oh, I, for some reason I thought the monster spawner would stop it. Weird. Yeah, these no. things are a pain and I don't really want to fight them is the problem. There we go. Amethyst. Yay! We did it! Let's get out of here. Almost. Let's just do that one little thing right there. Okay. It was a waste. Great. It, Fantastic. You know, it's good to have it either way for you in the beginning, so it's fine. Everything you get right now is not a waste. Don't listen to this game. Don't listen to this man. Everything okay. you get right now is good to have, okay? Let's go back to the village. Also, how dare you imply that uh, scrap iron's useful? How dare you be rude to that? It might be useful. It's trying yeah, sure. its best. Yeah, sure. Why are you being so mean? Because I'm a jerk. Apparently a you jerk. are. Maybe I'm you jerk. should go talk to him and go pray or something. Amethyst. Gordon, I brought you your amethyst. It looks like it's all one piece. Could work, Kyle. Here, take this. Four energy. Money. You've been a real help. I'll let you know if I need anything else. Uh, please don't. Uh, okay, why? I That's don't know. Money. money, money, money. Money, money, money. The inn. Ah, oh, baby. Wait, is it human? What a baby. Do you need something? Why does he sound like a robot? <laughs> Because his is one of the voices that's really bad. I forgot about that. He sounded like that. Welcome to my inn. And he has his voice is even worse. He's just a human. You don't need to fawn over him. Jay, you're being rude. Apologize to the man. Aww. Aww. Well, I'm going over to the manor. Have a good day, Cece. Bye, man, I don't even know yet. Pleased to meet you. You're a traveler, I assume. My name is Egan. Nice to meet you. My name's Kyle. How do you know I was a traveler? Ah, oh, well, I smell the wind of a different land on you. It's the sylphs whispering to me. The sylphs? The spirits of the wind. They cannot be seen by humans. You're not a human? That's right. I'm an elf. Oh, really? Indeed, this is a nice town. The spirits of the land are strong. I see. 
Well, I hope you and your enjoy your time here, Kyle. It was very nice meeting you. Very nice meeting you too. He's a nice guy. He is. Even if his son Jake is kind of a jerk. He is. His son is a racist. He is. And, and he has one... bad voice acting. Yeah, they both do. CC is the only one in that group that doesn't. <laughs> like, they should have go for a person that had, like, a calm voice for the... Egan. Egan. Wow, I already forgot his name. He's not important, apparently, for me. But he should have go for a calm voice. A soothing voice, basically. Like, something that will put you to sleep if you cannot sleep properly. And then Jake should have... I know what type of voice they went for it. Like, I know what they wanted to go for it. But they didn't act it out right. Mm -hmm. hey, who are you? Nice to meet you, I'm Kyle. I don't remember asking your name, human. Uh, Rude. sorry about that. But since you told me your name, you might as well know mine. I'm Jake. From State Farm? I'm a half-elf. Yes. Do you have a problem with that, human? Uh, no, not at all. Good. Alright, and that was all you need to know from this guy. Yep. For now, that's it. Yep. Buh, 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 buh. But it's been so long I played this game that I now re hear the voices again, and it's like, ooh. Ooh. I didn't forgot about it. Okay. Come here for a sec. I give you some yummy yummy cookies. I want cookies. Yeah, me too. Also, we're gonna stop in here real quick. Welcome, friend. Oh, he's calling us friend. Sweet boy. I wanna buy a stack of these. Yeah! I'll need to begin my farming adventures. It's so, farming time! It's rhyme time. Alley -oop! He's my favorite character. You cannot judge me on that one. He's my favorite just because he goes Alley -oop! Alley -oop. I love him. And broken item. he's just looking fine. What do you want, human? You're bothering me. I hear about your request on the bulletin board. Is that it? Why didn't you say so, human? Rude. CC seems to have lost something. Is quite upset over it. I want you to go help her for me, human. That's all. Now get on with it. Do it for CC, human. Um, what am I looking for? Why don't you just go ask her? Really? Yes, of course. You're yep. so mean. You bully. All right, all the way over to CC. You don't deserve the name Jake. From State Farm. Yeah. You rude. I'm just excited for tomorrow to come so I don't have to do this all the time, but I need to finish this last one. Finish it! Dun dun dun! Cece. Are she inside uh... of that? Or is she in her... Uh oh. Is she in the end? I don't remember where she is. Cece! Uh... Uh... Wait, how late is it? It's 4.59. Would she be in bat? In the bat? No, she... It, she might bat be house? in the bath. Or she might be hanging out with Mana. Yeah, that's one of the two. Okay. That's the problem with sometimes you have to get like, you have to remember where they're gonna be on certain times because they're not staying in the same place after certain. To be fair, we could use this as, an, as a way to find, uh, to check Alicia's readings, but also not right now. Right. We can't, we, it's, right, they're close to, I don't know why I was coming over here. Uh, one of two places, I'm guessing. Either hang out with Mana, which would be weird because Mana isn't 
you know, upstairs right now. Yeah. So it's or... not up there, so where is she at? Where is she? I don't know where Cece is. Uh oh. It's fine, let's just let time pass. Maybe Might she's be that she's in stuck the... between screens. Maybe, or maybe she's at the doctor's place because sometimes she's in there too. Because I think sometimes we forget about one thing. If you do a quest, sometimes the quest will make the character disappear to the part where the quest is supposed to be. I yeah, also but noticed in this case, that too. I don't. I don't think that's the case on this one. No, but. Just knowing Here. for future reference that wow. that might happen. Hello. Oh, Free. you don't. Well, well, sorry, I forget. I I'm Alicia with uh, pretty eyes. You don't seem like you have a lot to do either, Kyle. If you had some free time, you should let me read your fortune. Time to make some money. Okay. Um. I she won't do it because she's not down at the beach. No, she only does it there. She's not do she won't do it because she's not down at the dock. No. So, that's unfortunate. I was hoping to actually make use of that. But are you sh Like, sometimes I feel like... Wait, where was she when I... I think the last time that I played it... Don't quote me on that one because it's been a few years that I played it. I remember she was at the doctor's place, but we didn't go in there yet, so it's kind of silly. But I remember Let's she was it. in there at that time, but I fell down and skin my knee. It hurts. <laughs> oh, that's so fake. It's also really just not fitting for a like four year old. That's supposed to be a four year old's voice. Wow, I it's, fell it's... down and skin my knee. It hurts. <laughs> It's like four or six or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, then there's her with the really young sounding voice. Huh? What do you mean? It means oh, she became ten now. Everything for yourself. Here. You should be fine now. Oh look, I don't cry anymore. Thanks! Bye mom! What She's not my mom. If someone just explained it to you before you fell, I'd rather have it that way. You'd be better off if you'd experience Ooh, your voice sounds like an old lady. Yourself, lady. Quit fooling around with that fortune telling nonsense and get a real job. Natalie has a younger sounding voice than Alicia does. Uh, Alicia like is an Natalie's lady. daughter. <laughs> My fortune telling is not nonsense. Well, whatever it is, I don't accept it. Sister, mother, why do you always have to be like this? Mother, can't you accept Alicia for who she is? As a doctor, I cannot accept something that isn't based upon sound science and reason. You're both as stubborn as ever. Reminds me of my sister and my mom. Both stubborn. That's fair. Mm. The thing is that this, that would make sense if you didn't live in a world where magic can happen all the time. It's a type of magic. It's a kind of magic, magic. Good day. I believe this is the first time we've met. How do you do? My name's Kyle. I'm Ray. Nice to meet you. Same here. My mom's a doctor. If you ever feel sick, stop by her house. Thanks. That's good to know. By the way, my sister's a fortune teller. She's still learning, but maybe you could humor her once in a while. <laughs> sure thing. Hi there. Yeah, okay. So the same thing as before. Hello, nice to meet you, young man. I'm Natalie, the doctor in this village. Nice to meet you too. My name's Kyle. I'm living at Douglas and Manus Farm. Ah, that's right, the slave. I heard someone new has moved to the f <laughs> to the farm. Tell me, how Douglas and Mana forced you to buy their goods? Uh, well, kind of, actually. <laughs> well, in truth, they really aren't bad people, so don't hold a grudge against them. Ah, uh, that's good to know. When you work as a farmer, it's easy to overwork and wear yourself out, so always pay attention to your body as you farm. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the advice. Bye, Alrighty. slave. Don't call me that. <laughs> I 
been calling you that the whole time. <laughs> Alright, so we're not going to be able to finish this quest today, and that's fine. We got most of the things I needed. So yep. we have most of the tools at this point. Okay, that's not what I was trying to do. There we go. Did you just want a grass? Oh, that's so sweet. So one big thing that's different between Ruin Factory 1 and 2, when you use your watering can on a not, uh, a not waterable tile or a tile that's already been watered, it doesn't actually waste it. It's a huge improvement. No wasting water in this one. Good to have, honestly. Mm-hmm. Also, make sure that you always stay in the middle, too, because I sometimes did an oopsie and I didn't do it right, and I wasted some CD seeds. So sad. Yeah. So sad. Play, play Despacito. Something about a burrito. Now I want a burrito. I really want a burrito. You're welcome. No! You're so mean. The meanest. I know. It's so peaceful right now. Just farming, yeah. listening to the music, listening to me talking about the peacefulness. Yeah, it's amazing. Figure this would just be how we spend our day. We try to get everything done. Yes. Okay, do we have any others that aren't? Yes, we do. Still have a pink turret. Okay, they've all been planted. What a time! Now let's get to watering. This can hold 30 water, which means we can do three squares before we have to fill up. It's what a time! Du -du 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 -du. So, these medicinal herbs you've been harvesting, they're gonna be your best friend at the beginning of the game. Yep. Just nom and nom and nom on them. They like it. And here's our watering hole. Up here is our uh, lumber pile, I guess it would be called. We have 50 wood left. So we could take out wood should we want to. I won't bother right Actually, we'll take one out. That way I can ship it. Ship it! There we go. Now, we are at 10% of our crops sold at this point. Yay! That's pretty good progress thus far. 1% overall. And 2% of the miscellaneous stuff, because there's only rock and wood. Wait. There's only... Oh, I didn't ship a... stick. Huh. Interesting. No, you sold it! Yeah, I'll have to ship one of those. Yep, you sold it to get rice. Yeah, I know, but I didn't think I'd... Sh I thought I'd ship one of them like I was planning on it. Maybe you did an oopsie. I did an oopsie, it's fine. So, this is gonna be how the rest of our day goes. Yep. For well, you guys, it's gonna be speed up and have fun with that, but I have to watch it. Oh no, that's so terrible. It is very really terrible, holy heck. I'm an owl. Quit pretending to be an owl. <laughs> Let me be what I always wanted to be, okay? Dork. I wanted to be an owl. You cannot stop me. 
Oh, that's uh, not quite where I wanted to go. It's fine. That that went oop oop. I'm broken hearted. And I oop. And I'm broken hearted. Oop oop oop. But I cry all day. Okay. Yay! We so did it. Up. 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 What were you doing there? Trying to fill up my water. Ah. Apparently, it's hard to do at the side angle. Yeah, no, never do the side angle. Here. Just go up front. Okay. Oh yeah, axing time! Woo! And I oop. And a broken eye. Out of oop. There you go. So it takes three of the power charges. One. Two. To you. A three. Death. Crunch. Hello. And. Oop. Yay. One more. One. And a two. And tree. The tree is gone. Ding dong, tree is gone. There we go. Yes, we did it. Hooray! My guess is this would also be three then. One. And a two. And a tree. And we have more space to farm now. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. And a two. And a bless you. <laughs> and a one. And a two. Bless you. Waka waka. Waka waka. Alright, before we work on that. Ooh. It's the middle of the night, so when's better to actually Stay head into the night? Stay up all night to get lucky. Ba da ba da ba 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 da ba da ba 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 da ba da ba. Okay. Ah, that's what we it's need. It's here before. Keep it. Okay, pendant, a silver pendant, a simple but highly attractive design. Can I actually? I can put it on. <laughs> That is ridiculous. It just defends my brain magic didn't go magic. right. My brain didn't go right there. <laughs> so I I guess I'll just use this until we end up giving it back, but we don't even know whose this is yet. You were so silent, too, and I'm like I could put it on. <laughs> Ah, I'm thirsty. Keep hydrated. If it's warm, keep drinking. And get drunk. Hey! Okay, uh, that's a lie. Just drink a lot of water and stay hydrated. Yeah. Don't listen to the first me. Even though I want to get some drink. Yeah! Yeehaw! I do love how they transacted with the song, depending on where you go, there is a different song, and I like that. Mm -hmm. Same. Skill up. Oh, I uh, know the beep of death. I mean, Stop you that. can see that it's really bad if you get all red. You're so angry. Why are you so angry? Why are you angry? Why are you Why peeping are you red? Why are you peeping red? <laughs> Get off. And a one. And a two. And a two. And a three. Bless you. 
Okay. This will be enough to grow the four phantom grubs that we can already buy at the beginning of the yep. game because that makes more sense. Yep. Wet grass. Stay in the middle. I promise you, I blue crystal. I one time did that wrong with the blue crystal, and I lost. I lost three. I lost three upset with. Cherry grass. And this is why you need this blue little square. Yep. It's very important. It's really important, at least with these flowers. I don't mind it if I lost some turrets or something, but if I lose at least one or two out of these ones, I really upset. Mm -hmm. They're worth so much money and they're really good gifts as well, so. Yup. Not to mention crafting. Yup. Ah, baby red again. This water. There's water right over here. That's the fun part. Oh wait, we did it. Yes, we did it. Hooray! We did it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. It feels like or we should do a musical or something in this scene because we I love singing, but sometimes I have to be calm and not start singing because I keep on singing. It's bad. But it's not really bad. No, it's not bad. You're fine. You're fine with two eyes. Unlike Dimitri. He has only one eye. Wish I had a sword at this point. Nah. You're getting none of that. You get nothing. Nothing at all. Besides the spider that's jumping around like a little potato. And hits you for eight. Yeah. And I think... And, ow! That one hit for seven. Ha! Yeah, they have a variable damage of like plus or minus one from their base. But it's not the day we're going over the monster stuff. That will happen no. another day. Hey! Stop that! That's rude. Yes, yes it is. Oh, take right. that stick! You have to ship it. I'm going to. If you come up here, you can actually get apples. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh he didn't hit you. Good. Apple! And I'll grab this. Apple! Log. Apple! 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 apple. Okay, so we're almost out of time, so we gotta get home. We gotta get home and get lucky. And by lucky, I mean go sleep, because we are tired. Alrighty. Hello, we home. Ship cool, it. Home. Okay, we're gonna ship a bronze. Whoopa. We're gonna ship a cheap cloth. Whoopa. We're gonna ship all of our scrap iron, because no. Rude! Branch. You're so rude to it. Put these down here because they're meant as gifts anyway. Okay. We're going to be shipping an apple. Apple! And a ruby. Ruby! Also, I should probably actually show off what they are. Um... Okay, antidote herb. A wild herb that cures poison. Very bitter. How bitter? Let's just say very, very bitter. Black grass. Grass as dark as the night sky. Often gets trampled as it cannot be seen once the sun goes down. Weeds. A plant disliked by many. Weed. Their uncanny ability to survive in any condition could be learned from. Iron. A metal ore used to make weapons and accessories. Can be found any. Uh, can be found in abundance anywhere. Yellow grass. Said to bring good luck. Many people carry a hunk of it in order to boost their financial luck. Medicinal herb. A wild herb that can be used to recover HP, so long as you can stand the bitter taste. Red... Red grass. Its passionate flame red hue somehow promotes its growth, making it grow faster than other grasses. Um... Bamboo sprout. Crisp and aromatic. Grows fast, covering the fields during spring. Orange grass. Grass the color of the summer sun. Just looking at it can give anyone a boost of energy. Apple, a little bundle of love from Trieste Forest. So good for you, it may put the doctor out of a job. Ruby, a crimson jewel. The most valuable ones create a star of uh, refracted light inside. 
represents passion. So I need to show off what the stick is anyway, but I forgot to do that. So we'll worry about that later. You need an oopsie. Again. That's and fine. And the iron. Bye, Shoot. iron! Okay. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. We're sleeping in our house for the first time. We could sleep. Let's, let's sleep. Let's sleep over here. Let's see if we can sleep over We're here. We're gonna sleep in our own bed. Good night. You were always supposed to sleep in the other one, but eh, why not? Guys, next time, we're just going to get some good rest. Yes! And let's keep on working. Yes. Good night. Good night to the dappers. Mm. Only the dappers get a good night, so if you dap, you get a good night from me.